and welcome to my very first NVIDIA product. I have never bought NVIDIA because it was always so expensive and thanks to you guys I can pay for this and I can be here and unbox this for you guys. This is the brand new uh, brand new okay this is currently like the only one that I know of that has been in someone's hands and that has done a video of and you might be going well Joe this is just the the ROG Strix gaming card right? Hell no! That's for chumps! This is the uh, GeForce GTX 1070 Strix OC Edition from Asus. Now, what makes this thing so cool? Well, it rattles. I don't know what's inside of it, but it rattles. Um, so let's go ahead and open. I'm gonna make one insertion. I don't care about reading about the outside of the box. It has cool shit. It has expensive shit. That's why I bought it. Because... Let me tell you a little story while I get this open. Uh, my AMD cards... I tried the 480. Well, I originally unboxed the 470 version of this card, actually. Um, the 470 was ac absolutely uh, beautiful, but it didn't have a backplate, and it was kind of badly received by the rest of the community, so I'm gonna... Okay, okay. I'll, tr I'll get a different 470, which I have the box laying around somewhere. I got this bad boy, which is the XFX Radeon 470 4 gig edition card. I got this on Newegg and, as you can tell, has had a warranty. But these are the ones with the removable fans, but it makes terrible fan noise. Um, and also, it doesn't ever get above 60 FPS in any game, uh, even on low settings sometimes. Uh, so, it it really hurt. Um, so, I tried the 480. And the 480 was okay. It dealt good performance. I do love the, like, the shit streak of the Strix logo across the, the front of it. Um, but the, uh, the, uh, 480 was good, it gave me good performance, um, for a decent cost, I would say, however, it did not offer, uh, great performance, um, and on top of that, it died, like, the day after I bought it, so... There's that too. Um, so, wow, this is a premium feel of unboxing. In comparison, which you guys can check out in that corner up there, I believe, up there. Um, whichever corner the eye's in, you guys can check out the unboxing of the uh, R7 uh, or RX 470. So, uh, let's go ahead and open the box. And let's see what we got inside. But anyway, then that didn't work. So I finally decided, okay, I'm just going to buy the Power Color Radeon R9390X Devil Edition because that was water-cooled and it would be awesome. Too bad the person who sold it to me was a complete jack-off and uh, broke it somehow. So now does this thing have case stickers in it? No. A $400 product doesn't have case stickers. What the hell? It comes with a free code for World of Warships. But it doesn't come with a case sticker. So I'm going to just toss this off the side because I don't really care about driver CDs. Because uh, I'll download those. God, like everything about the AMD one was like cheap. But this one is so expensive. Like, what if they went for the budget? Like, would this card then be $100 less 
if they just went with like cheaper foam and uh, less fancy packaging and you know like why do you give me fancy packaging I don't care about the packaging I care about what's inside um, and nothing's underneath sadly um, Ooh, this is actually sealed so you guys will get to uh, see oh no okay there it is. okay I'm so used to opening them up from the uh, from the back so let's oh sorry just bump the mic <laughs> okay so let's uh, try and get the crinkly bag away from us I'll just toss that off to the side okay so it has the three ball bearing fans these are I believe 90 millimeters so I don't know exactly minus the giant heat sink on the bottom uh, how this will be much better than the uh, founders edition but I don't know um, but this thing has one power connector one singular uh, 8 pin connector it has a nice metal back plate gotta love that and it feels heavy as hell like this card I would say at least 10 pounds no 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 not 10 pounds um um uh, maybe three pounds maybe well, this thing is giant um so this is my very first nvidia card um modern nvidia card let me, let me rephrase that i've never liked nvidia i've never wanted to buy an nvidia product because AMD has always suited my needs for the price that I wanted. Except for now. Oh wow, they didn't even include the SLI bridge. I did. I, see, that tells you how much of an AMD fanboy is. I always forget about that you have to have a bridge for the SLI shit. Um, I won't use SLI, so those the fingers will all probably have the uh, conductors on there anyway. Um, but anyway. Um, I have been an AMD fanboy for my whole entire life. So let's see if this is going to be the card that changes me to, uh, Team Green. Or the new Team Green, I guess I should say, since the original Team Green let me down. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more unboxings like this on my channel, again, you can check out the little eye up in the corner over here, I believe, um, or over there, over there, I think, over there. Um, you can check that out, and you'll be able to see um, the AMD RX 470 version of this card. Um, now, this is the 8 gigabyte edition because I feel that uh, 4 gigabytes is not enough. Um, I'll tell you how much that actually matters to me when my wallet is crying in pain, uh, later in the month. Um, but that's for me to find out and you to question about. Um, so thank you guys again so much for watching. I love your faces so much. And why is there a feather in the heatsink? There's actually a feather. This is, this is live. There is a feather in the heat sink. I see they're already trying to kill me. Okay, but anyway, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Bye-bye.